Welcome to Charts Today, my name is David Linton and today's edition for Wednesday the 9th of May comes to you from London and we start by looking at the dollar as always and just continuing its ascent. Uh, of course we had Trump pulling out of the Iran deal last night but the dollar continues to strengthen and we're seeing that short term targets. 4% higher is the target now really that we're looking to uh, so considerably uh, good upside from here but the interesting thing is we still are bearish of course on the long term chart but the medium term is shown we've really broken through here and so dollar higher euro weaker uh, as a result of that stronger dollar and so uh, no clear downside targets other than this very big one that's long term but we're still long term bullish on the Ichimoku chart uh, the Japanese yen, uh, seeing dollar strengthening here now as well. Yen was benefiting from a little bit of the risk trade in the run-up to this Iran decision, but uh, that's that's now sold off and we're seeing dollar strength returning. And that's starting to put the dollar into medium-term territory against the yen as well. Against sterling, uh, we're seeing sterling just continuing its uh, weakness on the bottom here. Dollar strength, stirring, sterling weakness. Although against uh, the euro, sterling is looking stronger. Um, against the Swiss franc, uh, sterling just holding steady. And against the Australian dollar, just improving in strength on the short-term chart as well. Uh, Bitcoin is down about 1%, just struggling to make this medium-term transition at the moment. So uh, we do have downside targets of uh, 4% and 2%. So we are seeing Bitcoin lower. <coughs> The uh, S&P 500 index uh, was up yesterday, uh, but very slight change really. So uh, it, in the end, we just ended up where we started. So uh, no gains there. We did close higher at the end, towards the end of the session, but uh, we were flat on the day. Uh, the same really was true of the uh, uh, NASDAQ down very, very slightly, but looking better. And the uh, Dow Jones index also uh, was just flat, 0.1% uh, change. So in the end, markets took uh, Trump's decision in, the, in their stride. And the Russell 2000 index still looking like it's making a fairly strong recovery. This is looking more and more like a continuation pattern, a breakout. Uh, but uh, we have to wait and see still. Uh, the S&P 500 index... Uh, we're seeing just struggling to get back, uh, sorry, the uh, the future just struggling to get back above the medium term. And the NASDAQ uh, E-mini was also uh, just flat, no real change on either of these this morning, so hard to call which way the US markets are going to open today. Japanese market uh, looking stronger through the cloud in the medium term and uh, looking at uh, the, FTSE, uh, the uh, FTSE 250, we're seeing we're stronger here as well. The um, the DAX is looking more bullish, and the CAC 40 uh, also looking more bullish as well. Uh, looking at the Hang Seng Index, uh, we see here that we are weaker, still below the cloud on the medium term chart. So uh, looking uh, still quite uh, worrying. And China starting to look a little bit better short term, but the medium term chart not looking so good, and the long term chart deteriorating as well. The Indian market, uh, the Sensex looking uh, stronger, and the Australian uh, market also just improving, um, nudging for a new all-time high. Uh, oil uh, is up higher again this morning. Uh, this Iran thing is really making a big difference. We're now sitting at $77 on the oil price. Uh, we've had these targets in train for a while. If we look at the uh, medium-term chart, we see we've got quite a lot of upside targets here, 78 uh, 7741 was given 78 uh, we've been calling these upside targets and now we're we're now pushing towards them uh, of course WTI is also clearly above $70 now at $71 so the big um, move on this Iran thing of course is the uh, oil price uh, with uh, reduced supply in the Middle East uh, US NAC gas sitting steady at 274 and if we go straight to gold gold um, is not rising in price strangely it's uh, falling so we are seeing gold uh, falling on the uh, on that news and we're back to bearish short term with downside targets so that is quite interesting medium and long term chart still just holding bullish we are starting to give this um, chart a bit of a move on the lag line and if we look at gold last year we we did much the same time uh, much the same thing in may june um, before 
moving much higher. So maybe we're going to see something similar this year. Uh, taking a look at silver, uh, silver also selling lower, so um, bearish there short term as well. US 10-year yields back to 3%, uh, hitting 3% again this morning. So that's uh, just showing uh, through and the bond market just turning bearish short term on the German Bund. Uh, that's the bond price rather than the yield. Uh, Apple um, making new all-time highs yesterday, so that's significant. Uh, Amazon also pushing higher, uh, looking pretty strong as well. Uh, we're seeing here just really looking like a continuation pattern now. Google, not so good, uh, still just struggling on that medium term chart. Facebook was up uh, quite a bit yesterday uh, and also just pushing up that half a percent higher, just starting to get back above the cloud on that um, medium term chart. So we're seeing Facebook coming back into train. And then Microsoft, last of all, um, just struggling to uh, uh, push higher, but still bullish on all three time frames. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.